Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started. This is for you, Anna, and obviously for all the parents who, you know, say that they don't know me, but they secretly do, because I'm just cool like that. I would say I was probably about six. Um, me, me and my twin were always dancing in our living room anyway to like Britney Spears, and Sync, Jeremy, all the all the, the originals, Liberty X, the Squad. Um, but um, yeah, I would say I was probably about six or seven when we first started. But I wouldn't say we didn't start training into it until we're about thirteen. It's always going to be street hip hop commercial basically that whole umbrella i love i love basically doing all of that sounds however i do also enjoy a contemporary because there's always a nice like spin to it um and you can do so much with it as well so i would say shooting can you know hip-hop contemporary that's my thing tricky question um <laughs> i would say i currently um i'm a professional dancer um, in terms of like I do musical theatre at the moment I'm hoping to get to more into more like commercial X Factor or stuff like that work but if not musical theatre right now it's been it's been a great experience I've been enjoying it um, so I can't complain um, some jobs require you to do like nine shows a week some sh yeah I know it's mad some shows require you to do eight shows a week uh, meaning that when I mean nine or eight shows that means that like there will be a Tuesday a Thursday and a Saturday that I'm doing two shows for, uh, like a day or that's on a nine show week or if I'm doing an eight show week then maybe it might be a Wednesday and a Saturday that I might be doing um two shows and then I get to rest on Sunday thank you um so that is currently what I do um obviously until the, the lockdown came in put a pause on that um so yeah it's it's fun it's very rewarding i do love it um how would i say i got started i would say uh it wasn't until i was probably about 13 and me and my brother got invited to uh to pineapple uh performing arts um on a scholarship so we did that I did that for the first two years and then I left I decided to leave and avoid dancing because I didn't think I was good enough did a year of a, um, health and social care and child care and then did a year of applied science and then realized very quickly after a year of doing science that I was like science is great but it's not for me but I always felt like I was going back into dance so eventually I did um, I did two years um, at City in Islington in Holloway. Um, I did BTEC performing performing arts dance, and then um, I ended up doing a year foundation um, sort of foundation course at Erdang, the like Erdang Academy, should I say? And then did end up doing my three years um, degree um, in musical theatre and professional dance. Um, so I did that. So basically, I spent a total of four years at Erdang and two years before that at City Nissenton. Um So that was basically how I got started. Someone told me about you know musical theatre colleges, and I said, "Wait, wait, th those exist?" Because I had no, I, like, I knew about you know the West End, and I knew about musical theatre, but I just didn't know what you had to do to get into those, you know, into that world, um, and how you were supposed to do it. So you know, luckily, I had some teachers and some really cool friends that helped me out with that. Um, why I chose to get started, I guess uh, it took me a while to realise it, but I, I realised how, you know, the more I, I try to run away from it, the closer these opportunities and, you know, and, and uh, experiences came to me. So I guess in a way, like I, I really just wanted to go with the, with my heart, I guess, it's, it's, as sad as and soppy as that sound, I guess um, it's, it's the truth. Um, and I would not change a single thing about it honestly like it's the best decision I've ever made to you know follow my follow my dream or my passion to to be a dancer and to be a performer really so yeah ah oh, it's um it's so fun um there's so there's so many, I think this just that's a hard question to answer because there's so many things that you love about teaching like you know teaching dance but what you love most um, I guess for me, I think it's about making a positive change in someone's life and making them, you know, feel more confident, making them feel more, you know, in control of what they want to do and making, you know, making friends. 
um, within the classroom. Um, it's coming away from the classes and, and like learning a new skill or learning a new trick or, you know, you're able to you're able to just take whatever you've learned and just basically build on that. And if you, especially if you want to become a dancer in the future, like it's such a great skill to have. Um, but I just love the, the vibe that you can create, the, the type of energy that you can have in a class and how everyone's all willing to, to learn and to get along and to, you know, they're not afraid to ask questions. But I guess it's just that, I think it's just the elements of it that make it so amazing and why I love teaching dance. Haha, <laughs> um, that's a good question. I would say what I find most challenging about teaching dance to children is sometimes it, they can be they can be uh, very cheeky um, and they choose not to listen. Or um, I think it's also trying to keep the attention span. It's also it's all about keeping that attention span. Um, you really want to like have them engaged and you want to have them, you know, being able to be attentive and to, to be focused throughout a lesson. But I think that can also be like a moment where they're, they're there for 20 minutes and then they switch off for the next 10 and then they're back on for the next 20 minutes and they switch off for five. And it's like, it's trying to be able to find ways of keeping them interact, like, you know, um, active and, um, you know, within, within the class rather than them sort of like daydreaming or disrupting other, other, other kids. So I would say that is definitely a struggle, a challenge, I would say. In terms of teaching children, it's pretty chill, I'd say. I think the, the busiest it got was I was teaching on a Monday um, for an hour. I taught on Tuesday for two hours. I've taught on a Saturday for two, like, like two hours. Um, I've taught on a Thursday. So they, they're really sporadic, but they're mainly like an hour, an hour and a half maybe throughout the week. And I would say I probably would say I get my Sundays off. I'd probably say I would get maybe like a Thursday off. Um, but yeah, I think it all just depends on, you know, who, like what I'm, what classes I'm covering and stuff like that. Um, but a work week in terms of the, the professional dancing job that I do, um, I would say Monday, it depends on what, what day we start. Some days it's a Monday, some days it's a Tuesday. But if I start on a Monday, I normally perform Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is a double show day, so that's two shows. One show is at uh, 2.30 or 2.15, and the other one's at um, 7.30 or 7.45. Um, and each show is about two and a half hours. Um, and then you've got Friday, which is a single show, and then Saturday, a double show, and then Sunday is my rest day. Ooh. Um, who's my favorite dancer? There's so many. There's so many. I, I can't think there's just one. Um, there's there's just so many. Kyle Hanagami, Ian Eastwood, Ryan Pusebos, um, who else? Melvin Tim Tim, um, Diana Matos, just all of these amazing people. Jade Bug, Nat Bat, um, Andrew Batterina. Um, the list is like honestly endless. There's so many. But I would say currently my favorite sort of choreographer in the game, like in the dance world, I would say it's a guy called Melvin Tim Tim. He's, he's phenomenal. I say I love the way he dances and the way he's, he's quite smooth with certain movement and how he relates certain movement to the music. It's just brilliant. Um, but Keona Murray as well, how could I forget them? But yeah, this, this is a list. Honestly, Keona Murray are phenomenal. Like they're the best duo in the world, I would say. Um, but we move. Um, I would say my favorite show is Jamie currently. I mean, it's so fun because I get to play a 16 year old, which is so fun. Um, I can't, I can't, in, like, I couldn't really say much about it other than the fact that I enjoy it so much. Um, I would say the best show I've watched would either be Dream Girls or Motown. Um, just, just because I always, I think it's just something that I just see as such a, a way of like keeping everyone positive and you know upbeat and stuff like that so and I, and I love it I would love to be in it one day so why not uh, I think a highlight oh, oh the, the kids are just too amazing to be honest um I think there's a moment for me where I had uh, gone to South Korea to do a job um, and I came back I think it was like maybe the week of the show 
um, I think it was the week of the show and like just seeing the kids like again it's just yeah I like I love being around them and I, like they just make me so happy so um, I would just say all the love from the kids and all the love from like you know the support the support parents like I know Bobby like the whole squad it's just yeah it's just been amazing um, and doing the shows of course the shows were If I could be in any musical show, oh, I wouldn't mind. Do you know what my answer is to that is? Um, I would love to be in any musical or show that allows me to show off the best version of me. Uh, anything that shows allows me to show my like personality or character, whether it's a, a like in a positive way, in a negative way. Because obviously you have to act. Sometimes it's, you're not always going to get the the happy go lucky parts. You are going to get some parts that make you look like the bad guy. But any any role or any sort of, I guess, highlight or show that you that allows you to show the best parts of you, like why not? Uh, um, go for it. Um, uh, it's just know that it's not going to be easy. You work for what you want. So what you what you put in is what you get out. What you put in is what you get out. I'm going to leave it there. So if you want this, you work for it and you see results yeah um and just never give up like it's gonna be it's it's i always say that um it's always it's easier said than done but it's never impossible um so i currently collect loads of hats um, I love my hats. My mum set me on this war path to find different hats. So currently I've got 29, um, but I just need, there's more to collect, trust me. I don't have every single color and that's what's so funny. I have loads, of, I have 29 hats, but not all of them are of different, loads of different colors. So yes, I'm, I'm on a war path to collect as many hats as I can until I can't fit them in a box or on my wall anymore. That's it.